Kaylin O'Connor, The Misinformation Age, How False Beliefs Spread In The Misinformation Age, How False Beliefs Spread, Professors James Owen Weatherall and Kaylin O'Connor explore the alarming velocity at which misinformation travels, and its harmful effects on societies. Delving into the impact of fake news on elections, the diminishing respect for truth in politics, and the weaponization of scientific reputation, this book examines the contemporary age defined by widespread misinformation. Highlighting the role of technology in the rapid dissemination of false information, Weatherall and O'Connor also discuss the factors that can motivate people to change their beliefs or assess new evidence. Combating Misinformation Professors Weatherall and O'Connor delve into the pernicious effects of fake news, propaganda, and misinformation in modern society. In their book, they provide realistic solutions to these problems, emphasizing the importance of identifying and correcting false information. Though some suggestions may be idealistic, the book presents a compelling argument for the need to combat misinformation in all forms. Reviews by Scientific American and the New York Times Book Review praised the book for its methodical approach and earnest exploration of a crucial social issue. False Beliefs and Harmful Consequences in a world where false stories spread quicker and wider than the truth, Weatherall and O'Connor assert that our beliefs matter as they inform our decisions. They explain that society's crucial beliefs are collective and rooted in shared information, but false and misleading information can spread rapidly through mass communication technology. Weatherall and O'Connor conclude that misinformation is an integral element of the current age. They emphasize the role of evidence in changing people's beliefs and highlight the diminishing respect for truth exhibited by politicians. The authors reference Kellyanne Conway's statement on alternative facts to illustrate their point. Breaking Down Community Beliefs In The Misinformation Age, Weatherall and O'Connor explore how communities align along beliefs, leading to a lack of communication between individuals from different communities. They explain that the more distrust there is in a community, the more likely polarization becomes. The authors state that evidence should be judged on its own merits, rather than the beliefs of those presenting it. The book emphasizes that policymakers must learn from others since they do not produce their own evidence. When policymakers communicate with scientists, they tend to create policies that align with the facts. However, when they communicate with propagandists, policies are influenced without testing beliefs. Weatherall and O'Connor urge scientists to seek information outside their own circle because conforming to incorrect beliefs sometimes occurs by inhibiting progress. They caution that scientists should not judge those with different views or crackpots, instead to assess the theories and evidence without biases. The authors reveal that industry can distort scientific research results by choosing scientists who align with their desired actions. This perpetuates a cycle when researchers get funding for biased studies, which leads to teaching students who follow the same path, promoting more funding from other special interest sources. Moreover, some propagandists undermine science's authority, while others misuse the prestige of science and individual scientists. The authors discuss how reputation can be used to promote both good and bad causes, citing the 18th century case of British aristocrat Lady Mary Wortley Montague. Lady Montague's use of inoculation to fight smallpox became widespread due to her reputation and influence, convincing even the Princess of Wales to agree to inoculation. This book highlights the significant influence of beliefs, biases, and misinformation in contemporary society, emphasizing the importance of seeking impartial information and judging evidence without prejudice. Misinformation and Democracy American voters' policy debates often involve disputes over basic facts, according to Weatherall and O'Connor. Journalists' attempts at equal representation of both sides in debates can result in false equivalency. The book highlights the challenge of creating democratic ideals without sacrificing accuracy. Fake news is more likely to spread when it deals with distant issues, and access to full information can break cycles of groupthink. However, recent politics show little evidence of this effect. Misinformation Governance 
Weatherall and O'Connor's book provides a basic overview of misinformation and recommends holding social media accountable for content. They urge scientists to consider the social implications of their research before publication and advocate for an end to industry-funded studies. The book offers interesting examples of conformity and its impact on the spread of misinformation. While it may not provide new insights for those familiar with the topic, its evergreen approach makes it a useful primer for newcomers. Recommended companion reads include Network Propaganda, A Lot of People Are Saying, and A Survival Guide to the Misinformation Age. Weatherall and O'Connor's examination of misinformation in the modern age sheds light on the dangers of fake news, the role of communication technology in its spread, and society's vulnerability to manipulation. Despite offering no groundbreaking solutions, the authors recommend holding social media platforms responsible for content and promoting more unbiased research practices. Ultimately, confronting the challenges of the misinformation age requires increased awareness, skepticism, and responsibility in evaluating evidence to create well-informed communities and reduce the influence of propagandists.